up guys I am back doing deadlifts today deadlift some back some biceps um, just a normal back and bicep day doing a um, a conjugate circuit for for my, my deadlifts so we're doing uh, we start off with working up with three sets of one at uh, I think it was 365 and then drop the weight to 315 and bang out five sets of three. Um, I don't think I my camera was messing up and I didn't get all the sets. I think I got two of the two of the 365s and then like two or three of the five sets on this, but hopefully it's enough to get the point. Um, I've been working on the sumo stance because I've heard that's better for guys with like longer legs, longer limbs. And uh, I've really liked it. It's um, it's difficult as you can see there. You know, I, I messed up that third rep, lost my balance. Um, so for me, it was it was tough getting into it. Uh, but once I started, once I um, you know, once I worked up to a heavy single, I kind of started getting into the rhythm of it. So after that, moved into a lot of volume on super heavy one armed rows. And this is something I'm actually going to change up. I, uh, for the most part, I've been doing heavy um, accessory exercises because um, I, I'm kind of. I mean, I'm not a power lifter, but I've been focusing a lot on power lifting um, and just overall strength. But I do want to get back into, you know, you know working on the aesthetics, uh, and trying to build some muscle mass. So I think I'm going to go more hypertrophy training on these accessory exercises uh, in the near future. But uh, yeah, this was, I missed one set taping here, but this was a lot of weight. I, uh, it was really more of just a mental game at this point. I started off with, uh, I think they were 80s, and then worked all my worked my way up all the way to the 120s for five sets of 10. Um, those last sets didn't get all the reps. Uh, here you can see I'm starting to work in more of um, good form, proper you know proper contractions, uh, hypertrophy training. So I have three sets of eight on the pull downs, and then on this I guess this is like a row machine or yeah some some rinky dink row machine. I like it though; it's nice. I uh, I think the first one I went even higher. Four sets of 12, um, and that's how I finished off back. The deadlifts really take a lot out of you, especially when you're doing such high volume um, so, and so much weight. So it is, it is tough to uh, to go from deadlifting and then try to keep up the intensity, especially with such heavy uh, one arm rows. So I think I'm gonna, gonna start going lighter and. Uh, I just focus more on squeezing, getting good contractions, working on muscle hypertrophy. Uh, moved into biceps, and I do a 5x5 uh, a five five with preacher curls. And a lot of guys don't train specifically for strength in their biceps, but I've always I found it's one of the best ways I've, I've grown my biceps. It's by doing you know 3x8s, 5x5s, uh, stuff like that. Um, at this point, pretty worn out. Decided to go for some, uh, some relatively strict form alternating full supination dumbbell curls using I think 30 pound dumbbells. Um, this is by far my favorite exercise for biceps. Um, you get an amazing isolation, really good burn, and it's you know it's what you want to make it. You can go heavy and uh, swing them a little bit. You can go to a moderate weight and use light or use good form, uh, but I love those. And then bringing in the brachialis a little bit here at the end, uh, doing overhand grip, burnout sets on the cables, and that finished it off for the day. And we uh, headed on to do some grocery shopping.
Oh my gosh, my car cannot even handle all these groceries. It's crazy. All right, so just finished a little. Oh, a second. Oh. Sorry about that. Just finished a little uh, late night shopping extravaganza. And uh, I'm gonna go home now, organize, cook some stuff, all that good stuff. So, uh, catch you guys there. We Good night, car. It is dark out. It's like night or something. <laughs>